and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host, Pepe Prons. As always, look in your upper right-hand corner, see what the latest giveaways are going on, or any other critical information about the channel. Now let's get going into today's review, and today's review is a big one. Uh, it's no bullshit, it's no hype. The Mabula 7, or Mobula, or whatever you want to call it, 7 by Happy Model, is a beast. It is the 2S to have. I got mine in FR Sky. It's kind of difficult to get it right now, so pay attention later in the video when we get in the flight footage and I got more time to talk. I'll tell you the options you have about getting this particular guy, but, but it's a must-have. It's the best so far for sure. Let's look at what we get in the box. First thing we're going to get in the box, of course, is the Mobula. Mobula, Mobula, 7, it's a 75mm, true 75mm quadcopter, it actually has an adjustable camera thing on it, which is great, you get a little mount to make your two 1S batteries become a 2S battery, that is a printed TPU mount, it is very nice, you get a awesome manual i am so happy that these companies are doing so much better with the manuals you're actually getting manuals that you can use that are valuable that have everything you have in it they take the time to get the pictures and everything for those new in the game that need to see them you're also going to get another full set of props so four props a screwdriver and a prop puller and then you're going to get two more batteries well, sorry, first you're going to get this USB charger here, um, that's the standard little charger they're giving out lately, plus two more batteries to go along with the two batteries you saw in the quad, so four batteries. We don't see that happen very often, yay. Big thumbs up to Happy Model for making sure you have the batteries you need in order to fly the quadcopter you bought. So this guy's actually coming in a little less than some of the other competitors out there too for sub $100, slightly over $100 if you want the standard kit over the basic kit. My kit's the basic kit. The standard kit actually is going to come with one of those six battery chargers that are pretty nice. So let's talk specs. First and foremost, we have these 802 16,000 kV motors, and they are beastly little motors. I know the number might sound a little smaller to you than some you've seen, but they're a beast. 40 millimeter props we got in this guy. We've got a 700 TVL camera with 120, field, 120 degree field of view. It is a 25 milliwatt 40 channel with race band VTX and it is smart audio ready. It is a Crazy B F3 Pro FC. It has a four in one ESE with five amp on each and it is D shot 600 ready so you can do your turtle mode and it, of course it is BL Heli S. It comes in FR Sky, Fly Sky and Spectrum and it weighs somewhere around 40 grams with the battery in it, but 25.9 grams without the battery. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the things that make this better than the others. And for me, this is the bomb. I can't put it down. It's awesome. One of the cool things is the camera is actually adjustable. Yay, you don't have to print parts. You don't have to mod it. It's adjustable just a huge part of the whole thing um i like to see it in the next t30 but you know you can't win them all the camera to me is just a little bit mm, i like the camera on the tiny gt or sorry i like the camera on that hp 65 a little bit better than this one i don't really like the positioning of that flight controller wire on this one but what i found is once you put your battery in there that wire is pretty much held stably in the front and it just becomes a non-issue it just looks scary because when i got it it was already sticking through the props and one last little bit of information, you are going to have to remove the canopy in order to bind it because the button is on the board. So let's get ready to start looking at some flight footage and I'll talk you through that. So initial impressions. As soon as I hit the gas, I was already blown away. It took off like I was not prepared for how it took off. It took off like an animal. Um, I mean, I was just blown away. How it took off and it is so stable um the only thing i did was i did change my pids no rates just my pids 
to get my roll rate up to, I think around 960 is route where I go, somewhere between 960 and 1000. And that's usually locked in for me as far as flipping goes. And um, my yaw is usually lower because I'm not really on the yaw as much. But um, it definitely can do a lot. Um, again, it is windy down here in Florida. It's kind of weird when we get cold fronts, it gets very windy. So it's been windy and it's not even affecting this thing at all. I mean, it's, it's like it's not even there. Punch is incredible. Um, response is incredible. Um, no chatter, no flutter on my props on any acro moves that you do at all. Um, I obviously made some crashes <laughs> and uh, bounced off a lot more than some of the other ones would. I mean, I know Nick Burns mentioned some things about how it was handling crashes and stuff versus some of the others we've tried, and, and I couldn't agree more. It it did a lot more like a, a brushed whoop would in the sense of bouncing off of things a lot more and not having some of the troubles, you know, that I had with the other ones. So that was incredible as well. I, I just, and you guys have seen my videos. If you haven't, I usually will give a, you know, give you a pack and, you know, of footage, although I've flown more than a pack. But, you know, I'll give you a pack and let you see that. And here we go with some turtle mode and another one. Boom. Look at that. Insta turtle. Um, no fighting like I had with some of the other ones that couldn't turtle themselves over, which is a big factor to me because I don't want to come walking off of the uh, the porch there and go chasing it in the yard. That's half the fun, is flipping it over and, and keeping going. But as I was saying, for a lot of you, you know, I usually run up, show you a pack, and that's about all I do. But I'm showing you two flights because um, I literally burned up every charged battery I had sitting on the desk with this thing because it was just that much fun. Um, I don't know if you can tell visually, hopefully you can for the speed and, and the agility and, and everything of this guy, but I am loving it and all the hype is for real. So right now they're hard to find. Um, and interestingly enough, they're starting to sell a lot of these quads. You might have seen and might not get what it means, but you'll see like uh, an EU version and a non-EU version. And that has to do with the firmware of your radio for FR Sky. And basically, if you don't have EU firmware in your radio, you're not going to be able to use a EU model that, that you buy. So be very careful when you're buying to make sure you buy the non-EU version so you don't have to monkey with your radio because obviously that would mess with a lot of your other quads. So make sure you're looking for that. And right now, um, all I'm seeing is pre-order availability at Banggood and Gearbest isn't going to show you it that way. I, I've stopped buying from Gearbest. Uh, I got this from Gearbest and as you could tell, um, I am so far behind on showing this video versus all the other guys because Gearbest acted like it was available when it wasn't. And they left me hanging for like 40 days. So I'm not dealing with that anymore. This is like the fifth time. So, and you know, it, it causes me to deliver my, my videos to you guys late and old news. And, and I don't want to do that. So Banggood has them now, at least they're being honest, saying that it's pre-order. Um, unfortunately, as of yesterday, they still had the U.S. version, but as of today, the day of this video, they did not have the U.S. version, and it's back into a pre-order status. So if you want to get it, you're going to have to put in your pre-order. The other place that has it, if you're in Europe and you want uh, an EU version, you can go to um, Geek Buying. Um, that is a place that, that often has, um, how do I put it? They have what's, what's hot, you know, and what's good. They don't have a, a huge selection of FPV racing quads, but they often have stuff before people. Like I got all of those, um, tiny GTs before anybody and I got them from Geek Buying. 
and um, they had them and they delivered and they're trustworthy to, to get the product. I've never had a problem getting any of them. Sometimes they have incredible deals. So I'll have those links in there for you too. Um, it might be a site you never heard of and it's worth checking out. It's like a Banggood or Gearbest also, but not as much you know, not as much product and uh, often product other people don't have. So it's worth checking out uh, there. And if, in your EU, if you're in the EU and you want um, those uh, that EU version, they do have them available right now, so you could order them. US-wise, you know, you're going to have to do a lot of digging. I'll put the links up for Banggood if you want to get on a pre-order or not. Maybe you already have your yours ordered because Albert can everybody else has done a video. I'm so far behind. Thank you, Gearbest. Appreciate it. You'll never get my business again. So anyway, um, I'm going to leave you with that. So, you know, remember to tell everybody about the giveaway. Uh, lots of stuff being given away for Black Friday. And remember to like, subscribe, and everything. And I'm going to show you one little fun thing here that you get in the old sunshine state that maybe folk in the north don't know anything about. But we got this stuff called Spanish moss. And as much as it's not that thick, it's nasty. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.